In this video, I am going to show you how to customize your Elementor post loop and at the same time show you how we can enable a full column click just like this here. For example, if someone clicks anywhere in this column, they will be redirected to a specific URL of your choice. Before we jump straight in, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now let's get started. Back inside our Elementor dashboard, we will add an inner section inside an already existing page. The inner section will have two columns. The first column will take 72% and the other column will take the rest. I'll come here to my widgets area and look up for my posts widget or the post archive widget, which is this here from Elementor. I'll drag it into my column. With it selected, I'm going to choose the skin to be cards. Columns, I want only two and the post per page, I only want two. Show image, yes, I want to show a preview. I don't want to show the metadata. And as well, I don't want to show the taxonomy badge, which is here. And this case is showing uncategorized. So I don't want to show the badge. And as well, I don't want to show the avatar, which is the author's photo right here. So I will disable that as well. I'll update for now, so we have a preview of what we are doing. All right, so far so good. Now let's go and add custom styles to our headings and content. Inside our editor, select our post widget, come to style, column gap is going to be 15 for me, under the card option, for the background option we'll set it up to our yellow, we'll enable the box shadow and hover effect will stay as gradient. Under content, we're going to change the color to white, that is for our title and for the typography we're going to give it our heading font style and we'll head straight to the read more options. For the color option, we'll switch that to white and typography will be given our content text. Not forgetting the exact settings, color is going to switch to white as well. And for the typography, we are going to change that as well to our content style. The exact length, we can change that to maybe a 15. By reducing the exact length to 15, our preview looks a little bit more neat here without being too crowded with too much text. I'm going to add now our last column here. Still with the column selected, I'm going to come to style because I want to make this text a little bit more visible. So under background overlay, I'm going to add a background type which is going to be white color and increase a little bit on the opacity. I'll change the color for the icon. On normal is going to be yellow and on hover it's going to be our yellow but a little bit transparent. All looks nice and neat, let me save a draft and then we have a preview. Looks good. Let's add some customization so that these two columns are aligning together. I'll remove the padding for the posts widget and also remove the padding for the last column. I'll select the first column which holds the post widget, advanced. We'll add a margin of 15 on the right hand side. So in this case I'm going to publish. Now let's preview our landing page. Beautiful. Now we have all the columns aligned together at the same time at the bottom and having the same column spacing. I have made further customizations on this column so that everything inside here will look more visible. So for example, with the column selected under style, I made this a background image and under the overlay option, I changed the background overlay color to our global yellow, gave it a transparency, which is 65. And under blending mode, I chose multiply instead of normal. With multiply selected, we have our widgets more visible than before. Under the column link, which makes that this column is clickable, you can search up for a page or a URL on your website that your website visitors will be redirected. If someone is not going to read this specific blog post or this one, you want to send them to the blog archive page and you want to enable that once they click anywhere in this column, they'll be redirected to that archive page. So you can simply add your URL over here. I'll use a hashtag. Alternatively, you can use the dynamic tags and link up to your blog archive URL. Before we close up this tutorial, let's look into the responsive settings of our post widget. Under responsive, I'll select our post widget. Under style, content, we're going to make some changes to the title size. I'll reduce from 28 to about a 25 and also make some changes to our line height. Under the excerpt text, typography, I'll switch that from an 18 to a 15. The same we are going to do for the read more option. 
Let's go to the mobile device. The card design here looks fine. I'm going to adjust on the space here with a post widget selected and a rose gap we can adjust that to a 15 and for our last column in that section it's selected under advanced margin we're going to switch that to a 15 on top i'll update here let's go and have a look at the preview here is our elementor post loop for the responsive settings of our post loop on mobile this is how it looks like beautiful and for the tablet device still looks nice and neat just like we set it up in our customizer the question here is how do you enable the column click option or the column link option in elementor for this to be possible we need an additional plugin i'll jump straight into the plugins area and you'll have to install and activate the make column clickable elementor plugin once it's activated inside your elementor website when you click on any of the columns, for example, on this column, you see that I have the column link option. The same for this other column here and all other columns in your Elementor website. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial brought you value. And now that you are able to customize your Elementor post loop and also add a custom link to your columns in your Elementor website. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that actually helps me out. Have a good time and goodbye.